All right. Hmm, let's check it out. Uh-oh. Full of sodas. Huh. No beer. Well, guys, in this video, I'm going to show you a little bit more about this little cool refrigerator and that battery. I'll put the links below the video to these items and materials you might need to use it the way I want to use it. So stay tuned. We're going to get to this, this genuine compressor refrigerator. It's a big one. And this, it is a Roy Pal, and it works like a dream. Super light, easy to use. All right, let's get over to the video. Y'all look below. You can check it out and the details on these two items. So let's get going. Lake time. Hey everybody, y'all been wondering where I'm at? Had a little bout with bronchitis. Had a little visit to the hospital. And I could have got something worse while I was in there, but I didn't. So we're okay. Um, we're currently out here at the lake. I've got Kieran Daniel out there somewhere fishing. And I'm up here at the table, up here at the picnic table. And currently we've got our little cooler set up out here. And I want to show you this cool little battery. Now I've got two of these. Um, and the reason is because of their portability. Now, these are about a hundred and a half, and this one here is a 30 amp hour, but it's got a, a lot longer draw than I expected. So um, I have a another 30 amp hour that's one of these, I don't know, it's like a, box, a long, narrow model, um, and it uses a different type of cells. It don't last compared to this. So this one here does have a lot longer lifespan, and it will tell you it's got it's got really good charging parameters and stuff. It does have a little bit of chinglish issues as far as the manual is concerned. You'll see it right here, okay? But you do get the gist of it, and you do understand what you have to do with the battery, all right? They come about 30% charge, and it does show you that you can take this little battery here, and I can put two of them together. So you look down here where it says 12 or 24 volt. So I could have literally plugged in uh, ran two of them and done them in a series connection and got 24 volt and would last it a very, very long time. So this right here allows me to put two of them together and you get, uh, like if you got a trolling motor, you'd be out all day on the water and you can also put series and parallel. So it's got a good BMS in it. The BMS can handle a consistent, constant 30 amp pull. So we've already figured that one out on something else we ran, a fan, a big blower, and 12-volt blower. It was pulling 28 amps, and it ran good on it. But what we've got it set up for out here now is for this cooler. So it's running the cooler. Let me see if I can get I have to shadow that because it wants to flicker because of the sunlight biting the camera here. Let's see if I can get it to stop doing that. There you go. So that is the camera making it flicker. But right now the compressor is running, so it shows a lower voltage. It's just due to the long wire, and of course it has to go through the plug, and that plug's not always perfect, and I rigged that up, and but it'll run that. This battery here, as because we're only going to be out here about four hours, this battery here is about half charged. And at half charge, it has a, let's see if I can, if I can shut this off, it'll show you the much higher voltage, because I have it on max right now. So it's pulling hard on that battery. But... If I take it here and I run it up to where it shuts off, the voltage will jump. Takes a minute for that to shut off here. There we go. So when that shuts off, I'll show you. But these little Roy Pal batteries are built really, really well. They're built like a little tank. And the cool thing is they come with not some cheap little flimsy handle, but a really, really good handle for these things. And I'm just using the alligator clips on it, but now you can see the compressor shut off. Now you see it sitting. It's it's half charged. This one's only half charged. I didn't even think about it this morning, but it's at 13 volts. So we'll get about four, four and a half hours, which we're not going to be here that long, running this refrigerator. That is a real genuine refrigerator. has a compressor in it. So y'all look below the video. I'll put a link to that too. That's a stake hole, and this is a Roy Pal battery. So it does have a different style lithium polymer uh, lipo 4 cell in it and it seems to actually last a little longer than 30 amp hour so i mean in four different times i got 34 34 34 34 so i don't know what it's i think they might have underrated it a little bit but you're kind of getting more than what you're paying for but the best thing is, is if you literally take this thing and drop it out of the back of your truck bounces down the highway you go back and get it it is the toughest 
solid, heavy casted case of any battery that I've actually tried. Um, kid proof, really. We uh, we got we got two of these, and I've had them for months, and I just now figured I'm sitting out here and I ain't done in video because I, I got bronchitis. I was sick for a while. I haven't done a video and I figured, you know what? Might as well let people know what's going on and at least show them something that's that, that I actually use regular time, real time, all the time. I think I've already cycled this like probably 50 times and fully I've, I've killed it and comes back. No problem. You know, you add a couple of pair of folding solar panels or one of those nice uh, solar kits I'll show you in a previous video. This thing would run that days just days so i mean overnight it'll run it solar panel during the day run it during the day back and forth yeah pretty good setup all right guys time for me i don't know if it focuses with my hand uh time for me to head out there to miss kira and see what else she's got on the line because she's hollering something all right y'all guys be good